Not only did he lean back in time, but he was able to lift his foot high enough for me to run straight into it full force. Everyone has stories of injuries they've had over the years. Maybe some people have broken their arm while skating or gotten a concussion while playing football. But not many people can say that they've gotten hit so hard that their nose ripped off their face. And even less people can say it was their own fault. But I can. Yeah, I can. What's up guys, it's the old ninja wearing aviators and a superhero hat and welcome to the modern ninja. Today is going to be the first story time here on YouTube because for some reason y'all love these on TikTok so I figured why not see if y'all like it here on YouTube too. But I don't want to bore you with some random story, some boring story, so I'm going to tell you the story of how I got my nose ripped off my face. First off, I know half of you are in the comments already going, Oh, uh, but modern ninja, your nose is already on your face. And yeah, I know, healing is a truly wonderful thing, but this story is a completely true story, so let's get started. And it all started when I was a lot younger and a lot less intelligent. I was about 14 or 15 years old and my pops got a new job in a completely different state. This was pretty par for the course because when I was young, I had moved almost every two or three years, so it was just another day in the life of young modern ninja. So I was just preparing and saying all my goodbyes to everyone I trained with and making sure I followed everyone on Facebook because Facebook was in back then, I guess. I don't think there was even an Instagram back then, but that's besides the point. On my last martial art class before I moved away, I gave all my friends a hug and enjoyed training with them for what would have been the last time for a very long time. Then it was time to say goodbye to my instructor and that's when I made my first mistake. I walked over to him with the confidence of a kid who thinks they know everything and looked him straight in the eyes and said, hey, I challenge you to a real fight. Are you serious? Yeah, I challenged my instructor to a fight because I finally wanted to beat him and I thought I could. Now let me give you a little backstory. This didn't come out of nowhere. I was pretty good at fighting. Being faster than most other kids my age and rank meant I won a lot. However, for some reason my brain told me because I didn't see my instructor fight, it meant I could beat him. <laughs> and yeah, not the best logic. But yeah, there I was, and my instructor actually chuckled a little bit when I said it, but when I didn't back down, he realized I was serious. So he looked over to my mom, who was watching me from the lobby to see if I really was about this smoke, and I definitely was. So my mom just gave him the look from Star Wars. Do it. Clearly my mom knew that I needed some humility, but as far as I was concerned, it was on. I was like, it's about to go down. Now, not to toot my own horn, but it started off okay. I would throw some attacks and he would throw some attacks, but none made any real contact and we were both pretty fast. However, I started to get cocky and started to talk while fighting. See, this is the real big mistake I made. Now, I don't know how many of you are watching this video have trained in martial arts schools before, but there are some things you just don't do. I feel like many of those things are pretty standard. You know, be respectful for your seniors, saying yes ma'am and yes sir, normal stuff like that. But I decided to talk smack during a match. I legit leaned in and said, make sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> I'm playing, but I got you. But for real, I leaned in and told him he was getting slow in his old age. So my instructor decided my lesson would be right now. He stood up straight for a moment, just giving me that, <laughs> You gonna learn today, kid, look. And again, I just looked back at him like I could handle whatever he threw my way. And how wrong I was. He dropped back into his fighting stance and stuck out his jaw, tapping it just like that. Now, what should I have done? I should have called it off right there. Throw in the towel, leave while I was still ahead. But in fact, that is not what I did. I knew in my heart that I could get him, that I could beat him, and I could reach him before he could pull back. So I went for it. I threw my jab as fast as I possibly could. I put everything I had into the speed of that jab going right for that jaw. 
this man, <laughs> this man, not only did he lean back in time, but he was able to lift his foot high enough for me to run straight into it full force. Like he didn't even need to throw a real kick. He literally just lifted his foot up for me to run into. And run into it, I did. I didn't even have time to register what happened. All I knew is as soon as I went for my jab, the foot appeared and I crashed straight into it. Now, adrenaline is one serious drug. I tried to shake it off and get back to the fight, but when I regained my composure, I looked up to see my instructor just mouth dropped, staring at me. He told me to hurry and go check myself in the bathroom. I touched my face and realized my nose was bleeding, so I thought, dang, he really got me. And so I went to the bathroom to plug on my nose like I did every other time I got a nosebleed. So I looked into the mirror and I saw the blood, so I grabbed a piece of toilet paper to kind of wipe it down and lean forward and realized that my nose leaned with me. Like legit, it would just drip when I leaned forward. I freaked out and screamed on instinct. Even though I had felt no pain yet, I quickly dabbed up as much blood as I could with the toilet paper and grabbed a new piece of toilet paper to hold my nose to my face. And that's when my mom walked in. Now many mothers would be super concerned and freaking out about this if it happened to their child, but my mom's not your average mom. Now, was she concerned? Absolutely. And so she called for my instructor to help wrap up my face. But the best part about this story, in my opinion, the best part about this story is while I was getting my face patched up, she looked at me and asked, so DJ, what did we learn? Emotional damage. And died laughing at me with my instructor. Now, back then, my instructor was in his early 20s. Well, actually, he might have been around my age now back then, which is crazy to think about. But since then, he's only improved and become an even better instructor over the years. But he never forgets to tell new students this story whenever they start getting too big for their riches, if you know what I mean. But if you are wanting to train with my instructor and mentor and the person that taught me much of what I know today, then you actually can. He owns his own school in Fayetteville, Arkansas. So if you're ever in the area, go check out NWA Martial Arts Academy. You will learn a lot and have a ton of fun doing it. And if you're there long enough, you'll probably train with me a couple times too, because I like to pop in every now and then, even though I don't live there anymore. Just to check in on my old instructor, but never challenge him. But yeah, but yeah, I was such an arrogant kid and young adult. And if you wanted to hear about more of the stupid stuff I did as an arrogant kid, then like this video and I'll tell you the story of how I lit my face on fire. Yeah, that one, that one hurt a lot, I'm not gonna lie. But thanks for watching this video, I really do appreciate it. And until next time, my name's DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out.